enclosed trailer. People use it for um, for their side hustle, for their business, you know what I mean? Driving all their mowers around. I use utility trailers, okay? So, but hey, I could use this for my storage, you know what I mean? To store all, all of my stuff and I'm not using it, or all of my extras, okay? So this is what, so don't judge me, okay? I'm gonna give you a little tour. Don't judge me, all right? Cause I bought, a brand, I bought it used, not brand new, all right? There's still work that needs to be done to it, okay? All right, so stand, so just, let me show you, let me, let me show you, um, let me give you a little walkthrough. So this is the trailer, y'all. It's a eight by 24 footer. I don't like it back here, y'all. I have a Rottweiler, you know what I mean? Most, most of the time in the backyard and everybody in the neighborhood knows that I have a dog dog over here, y'all. So they're dumb if they try to come come in the backyard. So this, this is in my backyard. So, all right, so when I got it, y'all, it came, it didn't, obviously I bought it, I bought it used. Remember, $1,000, y'all, good deal. Eight by 24 foot cargo trailer. Um, there was a lot of oil on the ground, so some of the um, the ground, the plywood was like soft. So I just threw this. Um, I bought some plywood used. And I just threw it on the um, the the um, the original plywood that's attached to the cargo trailer. All right. In the meantime, y'all, when I when I do have a chance, I'm gonna just take all the plywood out and put new plywood in there. All right. I'm gonna um, rust, break off the rust. You know what I mean from the frame and um, paint it. All right, and um, put new plywood on there, and then like make make it look nice, y'all. Paint paint the plywood. Don't know which color I want to paint, but um, let me give you a tour. All right, so these racks came with it with the trailer. All right, I got my um still com um combi combi unit on here. All right, with the uh, attachment, post saw attachment, header attachment. All right, I got my echo blower on there. Rocks, my kid gave me those rocks. I don't. He, he he liked collecting rocks, so I just kept them in here. I didn't want to throw them away. That was a gift for my kid. He was happy when he gave it to me, so it makes me happy. All right. Um, on this side, um, I attached these used um cargo trader racks. They're practically free. Uh, they were given to me. All right. I put that put that on here for my string trimmer and my edger. All right. On this side, I got my miscellaneous um, garden equipment. All right, shears, rakes, shovels. All right, a uh, little thatching rake right there. Okay, on this side, I got um, these these containers right here have fuel jugs. There's no fuel in the fuel jugs, but my wife doesn't like me just having jugs all the way around. You know what I mean? She wants me, she wanted me to put them in these containers. So she bought me these containers, and also just because I have fuel jugs, they're not gonna spill everywhere. Okay, so that's her. Um, her recommendation what she wanted me to do and the buckets in there these buckets i got cargo straps rope you know tie downs all right um i got damp rid all right um just because it gets humid over here so i just have a bucket of damp rid in here all right i got this um my, my little my little wonder ladder over here okay I'll keep it up here all right i can't screw it too back because it's not high enough all right, back here I got ramps. All right, for when I when I used to um take my my um, tractor trailer, my tractor mower around, I used to put in my um, cargo trailer, so I use those ramps. All right, but those are just ramps. All right, down here um they got they came with um racks for propane propane tanks. Um, I do use propane tanks for burning weeds. Okay, I'm not licensed to lay chemicals down. Hey, if you're not licensed, don't do it, okay? You'll get in trouble, all right? All right, you, you'll get fined a lot of money. You'll get in trouble, all right? So not even Roundup. Don't even lay Roundup down, okay? To the customers, be honest. Hey, I'm sorry, we're not licensed to lay any chemicals down, but I could burn their weeds, okay? So I didn't burn weeds on the grass. There's like, if they have pebbles, like a little, um, like the white rocks, people like laying those white rocks down. If there's like weeds coming down from there, I'll just um, burn the weeds with that. Okay, I do have this um, push behind um, edger when they, when there's um, yards that are like overgrown edges. Okay, I keep my roller underneath here. Got my, de my detacher, my, my aerator right there. Okay, um, random buckets. All right. All right, up here, uh, this came with it, y'all. Okay. 
I'm gonna put these little side rails. All right. Um, I, I'm gonna put a two by four right there to make it more stable. All right, this is like it's gonna fall. But this is where I keep my um, I keep my stringer trip, my trimmer, my um, string trimmer over here, my string trimmer string. Got my oils. All right, got blades, gloves. You know, um, I use these to um measure my my um if I have to like um measure my mower deck you know these are three inches you know, i just lay them underneath there, there, there's videos for that y'all you just put them on each corner put them all all the way down you know and just um adjust the um the height all right so but we're not talking about that we're talking about this trailer the random stuff my box of signs hey, i got those through um vista print 100 signs for a hundred dollars y'all all right so these signs right here okay you know, um, keep my, my, what do you call it up there? To, um, lay, um, lay fertilizer down for my own yard, y'all. Remember, don't do be doing that for nobody's yard. You'll get fined, okay? It's a big fine, all right? It's against the law if you don't have a license. All right? Um, so, got my, hey, get one of these right here. A little cooler, okay? Put on the passenger side. You know what I mean? Hey, every refrigerator should have like a little ice maker. Just in the morning when you go out, fill it up with ice. Put some snacks in there. Your your um your parade. All right. Hey, between between um customers, y'all, just it's right there by you, y'all. It's right there by you. You know what I mean? Your uh, your snacks and your drinks. All right. I keep my my hand blower up here. My my hand my my handheld head my handheld hedger. My chainsaw I have a steel and one echo. Okay. So there's missing any still I got tarps right there. Alright. So got my little can of um was wasp and hornet spray. They're bad over here. So I had that accessible. Alright, other than that, y'all, so it was the floor that was damn the, the floor not damaged but worn out. So I got this um plywood on there for right now. Okay. Um this the walls are kind of worn out though, but not they're not bad. You know what I mean? So, and I got my light over here. So, if I'm working at night, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, sharpening blades. I'll just come over and sharpen blades. I'll just run my extension cord to the, to the, to that little shed, the little plug in there, and I just have, I'll have, I'll have light. Okay. So, you could do what you want, all right? I mean, these are, these, these racks already came in here. I see some awesome setups, all right? They got those green touch racks, all right, um, on both sides. All right, they got racks where the string trimmer and edges are hanging down. All right, I seen those. I seen those setups. I seen them with fuel jug racks. Okay, um, all, all different kinds of setups I've seen. All right. Once again, y'all, this is just for right now. This is my this is my storage shed. All right, I'm not taking this out there and mowing lawns. This is my storage shed. Okay. All right. Um, I could I could bring all my lawn tractor. Um, both zero, both zero turns my push mower in here. All right, so um, let's do that right now. You don't gotta do this y'all you don't gotta build shelves oh you can knock all this down right here and make it like a workbench you know what i mean you can make it like a workbench you know so um you're like a little work area you know sit down and just um sharpen your blades with your angle grinder you know um clean your um your your carb your your, your carburetors you know what i mean have a big air compressor right here okay so you could like just blow it out your carburetors you know uh, blow out your equipment all right um i use these lights right here just standing lights my wife gave me these for my christmas present you know she knew i needed lights you know like a lot of times i needed lights so she bought me these so i run an extension cord to the shed all right or you could get lights you know um, get them set up on the roof i see some cool um setups with lights in the cargo trailers they go all out no um these don't work obviously you need to get hooked up to a vehicle in order for these to work 
you know maybe want to get like a um, run extension cord permanently from the shed you know like up one of these um roofs right here or drill a hole right there so you can always have light in here you don't gotta worry about running back and the cord back and forth so um this is me this is me gentlemen ladies and gentlemen my storage shed okay it's a rolling storage shed all right like i said before in, in my line of work i move i move a lot so if i had to move to a different state you know what i mean oh uh, hey i could just move this with me okay with the trailer with the with the mowers all right all right now so there you go so i got both mowers in here there's like about a foot still behind the um the other mower to the to the um to the ramp all right so i still got room in the back like a foot back there from here from here to over there all right that's how much room i got so i still got room for my riding mower back here okay um also if i wanted to i could just turn this um zero turn sideways and my riding mower sideways and still and give it even more room i'm not gonna have all this stuff over here okay so that really won't work out okay unless i get the the 52 inch first and then the 42 inch in the in the back and then turn it sideways it'll work because i got a lot of room back there but then again y'all this is my setup all right you could you know set your cargo trailer up any way you wanted to i mean any way you want to all right for um to meet your to meet your satisfaction all right to meet your um your ways of like wanting to be efficient okay um but this is this, this is my setup right now i don't even call it a setup it's just storage okay i ain't like i threw everything in here i mean i try to keep this neat as, as much as i can or i like organize okay i don't really no good way to organize all this right here but it, i just, just like random lawn care stuff got my i, I got my bags for my push more on i use the um the the black one all right i used to have another um um more push mowers though but i went ahead and gave them away or sold them i don't know if you noticed though but um i didn't i, was, I didn't have my um, steel chainsaws my uh, my chainsaws from my um uh, my chains for my chainsaws but like shoot i want to put them right here to display them for y'all so there they go i got my chains for my chainsaws and the thing too so um and if you haven't subscribed hit subscribe if you like this video hit like if it was entertaining for you you know um hit like all right there's more videos to come okay leave comments man that's a jacked up trailer man trailer dirty leave comments all right you know i'll just like, reply back like i told you before you know um i really don't mind how how it looks right now that the walls aren't painted the ground's not painted because this is just storage right now that's all it is storage it's just me and my wife my kid and my dog and my cat are the only ones that sees this trailer from the inside okay you know, no one sees this trailer, you know, I'm not trying to impress nobody right now. Yeah, so um, this is my setup. I hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe, hit like. And God bless. Always stay motivated. And when you're out there mowing, I pro and air pro at all times, all right? Be safe for yourself and safe for the others. Be mindful where, be mindful where you're mowing. Be mindful where the grass and everything's coming out of the mower, okay? Be mindful, okay, of your surroundings. All right, hey, stay safe. God bless. And see you on the next video. Bye.